The latest installment of the Hunger Games Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes reflects the future president of Panem as he mentors a tribute for the 10th Hunger Games, a tournament which paves the way for his trianical reign. Today we'll be going over the behind the scenes of this film from the point of social media from the cast. I'm Rachel Zegler and I'd like to show you the set of the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Let's meet some of the cast. I see here the lead of the film, Tom Blight. Do you want to be in the video? But before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question. There are a few films Rachel Zegler has appeared in starting just in 2021, but with being a part of a huge franchise like this, it's only giving her more popularity and giving her higher roles to be involved in. For example, Snow White in 2025. What is the next project she is set to appear in in 2024? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. I'm Hunter Schaefer and I'm here on the set of the new Hunger Games film, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, and I'm going to take you into one of the studios today and show you around some of the cool sets that we have up right now. Let's go see. This fall, hunger has a new appetite. I mean, I'm just saying, the, the Lionsgate wants me to. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. There was even this moment with Rachel Zegler and recording her voice for the song The Old There Before, a song that she personally sang for the soundtrack for the film. I'll bring the news when I've danced off my shoes, when my body's closed down, when my boat's run aground, when I've tallied the score and I'm flat on the floor right here in the old there before. There was more discussion regarding the decision for her to sing live for filming the movie, and Rachel chimes in and talks about the decision making between her and the crew. It was an easy decision on my end. It's a bit more technically difficult for a, a crew to deal with. And I understand there's apprehensions from creative teams to actually allow actors to do that. Not everybody can, not everybody should, because sometimes it's not healthy for you if you don't really know what you're doing with your instrument. But I've been training uh, vocally for 10 years. She also shared a picture of her on Instagram with the tagline, day one of shooting the Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. This scene was entitled the bloodbath. Here I am accompanied by David Thompson, our incredible A-camera operator. And over here we have my least favorite person on set, Josh Rivera. What's going on? It's Josh Rivera coming at you live. Going into the more recent interviews with the cast, Rachel Zegler and Tom Blith answer some rapid fire questions, including their favorite look from the film. I love all of my looks and it can was... be any character, by the oh, way. It doesn't any have to character. be your own. There's this very like toned down tigress look when you come home from having been like thrown into the arena mm. and she's got like her hair tied up in a knot yeah. and it's in a, like a hair wrap and she's in her robe and Hunter is just one of the most gorgeous people in Exquisite. the world. There was another interview that we will get into in just a moment with the cast and some of the film creators on being in this film. Most likely to win the Hunger Games. We've been going back and forth about this question a lot. We do, we cannot land on a consensus. I think I would do really bad, but then the others said that I would win. I, I don't, I, I don't know. Rachel Zegler. <laughs> but real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Please, I'm absolutely fine. There is nothing to worry. Do you wear wigs? Uh, no, I do not. Have you worn wigs? No, I have not. Will you wear wigs? Maybe. When will you wear wigs? <laughs> Ah! 
With a lot of these interviews, we hear that some of the cast have been a huge fan of this franchise for a while now, and being a part of it now has just been so surreal. <laughs> that was way too smooth. He's done this before. <laughs> Tom Blith goes back and tells us the chemistry read for his character in Rachel Zegler's sitting alongside her in Francis Lawrence. The chemistry read was the moment where I, I knew that we had a really, we had chemistry. Um, which is, I guess, the whole point of that. Um, I was in New York and, and there was a heat wave and I was and that we'd been through a series of auditions and um, and I guess it was the final kind of hurdle to make sure that Rachel and I fit together. In a more recent interview with Peter Dinklage, who explains that you don't need to see all of the previous Hunger Games films to enjoy this one. So it's what we call in the trades a prequel. Um, um, so you don't need to see the other movies or perhaps it'll inspire you to see the films already made. But he created it and now the genie's out of the bottle and he realizes what he's done is horrible. So he um, uh, likes to intoxicate himself to cover the pain up. We can also go on to talk about the future of this franchise. Nina Jacobson chimes in and discusses the future of the franchise, should there be one. Suzanne is my North Star. If she has a story she wants to tell, I am ready, willing, and able to tell it. Um, if there were a story she wanted to tell that wasn't based on a book but was an idea of hers, that she knew what she wanted to do with it, I'd be up for that. Though we all know how Snow's story ends in Mockingjay Part 2, the ending of Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes leaves many doors open for the story to continue down the road. This is how we film drone scenes on the set of the new Hunger Games movie. Because the drone gets a wide aerial view of the set, the crew must first make sure no equipment is visible in the shot. With the location now prepped, we bring the actors and extras to set to start rehearsals. Director Francis Lawrence and producer Nina Jacobson agree that a sequel about Tigress and her deteriorating relationship with her cousin Snow could be a really interesting storyline, especially as the final Hunger Games film reveals that Tigress comes to hate her cousin. You ever wonder how detailed they can get on movie sets? I don't think in the actual movie we're going to notice this. Like Each and every one of these little letters and newspapers are part of like Panem and like the Capitol and have been designed by like incredible set decorators. And lastly, Tom Blith speaks in depth of his character and who he is as a person. And it's interesting to hear all of this from his perspective. A little bit about Coriolanus. Uh, Corio is, he's 18, he's in the academy in Pan Am. He's, uh, he's beginning to learn how to become a politician and a, a young kind of leader of, of Pan Am. And as far as the answer to today's trivia question, Zegler is set to appear, or at least her voice, will be heard again in an animated Netflix special, Spellbound. The story is set in a world of magic known as Lumbria, where a young girl, Elaine, must break the spell that has split her kingdom in two. This is Video Village, where our director, producers, our writers, dialect coaches, they all watch, and you can actually catch some of them in action right now. Sunday morning. <laughs>